I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank RUF, raw, uncut, first impressions. The show where I give you the on the street, in the moment, real life feedback on gear sent to me from home office. Today, we have the Kmore Stepper Pump. This thing says that it's controlled via mobile device, iPhone and Android, it's got a Wi-Fi, uh, icon on here, so I'm curious to see if I can not only control it directly like with Bluetooth, but also over the internet, maybe even over the cloud, so I can be wherever I am in the world. Now one thing I'm noticing on the box that's a little different, it says not only for dosing, but also for a calcium reactor. My thought here is maybe that means it's rated for continuous duty or dosing running all the time. We'll find out. This is going to be one of those shows where I start off with the hardware to first impressions, and then the next week I'm going to follow it with a tech impressions. So, it says, this is one thing that I'm seeing more with gear that I like. It's got a QR code for me to scan. It takes me straight to the app. I really like that. It makes finding the app very, very useful, very easy. Here's a quick start guide. You know how guys feel about guides. All right. We have a plug for US. We have a power brick, okay? If you've watched this show for a while, you know how I feel about these power bricks. They're okay, but you know, it's one of those things where you plug it on a power strip, you gotta put it on the end because all this takes up a couple plugs. Not the end of the world. I kinda like the bricks where it's a single plug to the brick and then the plug out of it. Just something worth noting. All right, so we have Clear tubing. All right, so let me jump in on this. First thought is, you look, it's nice they give you the tubing. It would be really cool if they gave us two different types or even one color as opposed to just clear, like a color for in and then a color for out. One could be clear, the other could be something else. That way as you're tracing dosing lines under your stand or in your fish room, you know which one you're looking at. Not again, again not the end of the world, just something I'm noticing. They give you a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder. That's for calibration, I'm willing to bet. I like that. All right, so here's the pump itself. That's small. Look, it's about the size of my hand. It fits inside of my hand. That's nice and small. That's compact. The one thing that's jumping out at me is I would expect this stepper pump to be rotated 90 degrees. Now, they might not have done that because then that would put the in and the ounce underneath the footprint of the pump especially considering they've got pads on here. So this is clearly meant to sit like on a shelf like this. So then they turned the dosing lines that way. Understand why they did it, a little different orientation than I might have expected. All right, one thing I'm looking at on the back, I'm looking also through the box, I don't see a way to mount this, like mount it on the wall. This is clearly made to sit like this on a shelf or straight on your stand. Okay, that would be cool if this had a neat way, even if it just had holes in the back where I could put two screws in the wall and then set this thing and mount it like on a control board, especially all the reefers now that are going to control boards. It would be cool if it had some way to mount the thing. Right now, all I got is this. There are four holes on the thing, which maybe that's for air exchange or maybe there's a bracket, but there's not a bracket in the box. So again, not the end of the world. I would like to see some way to mount it other than have the thing I'm just sitting like this. The other thing I'm noticing on the back here is that's where the power plugs in. So if it's going to sit on a shelf, we have to sit on the shelf and set it off the shelf enough to have, oh, let's say inch and a half, two inches of the power plug behind it. I would have liked that this was on the side. That way I can put this thing back it all the way up to my cabinet as opposed to having to put it on the end and leave it off the cabinet a little bit. Something that's picky, I've done enough control boards now, I like things to look neat underneath or in a fish room. A lot of reefers do as well. When it comes to cord wrangling, I tend to like on the sides uh, better than the back. Thank goodness they didn't put it in the front. Oh boy, that would be bad. All right, up front there's a link, looks like a link dia or a link status light, which I like. There's a Kmore logo, and it doesn't feel like a button. We'll get into that next week in the tech. And then there's a reset button. I like that it's a button, not one of those like pinhole things where you have to go take a paper clip and bend it back and put it in there to try to reset. 
uh, because who uses paper clips anymore? This is an actual physical button. I can press it uh, and feel that it works. So overall first impression of this thing, I like that it's compact. I wish it had a power brick as opposed to this, let's call it transformer plug. Um, I'd also like to have some way to mount this thing. None of that is make it or break it in my world. That's me being picky and that's part of the point of the show. This is what I'm seeing with the pump next week. Plug this thing in, try to get it on my Wi-Fi if that's how I can control it. Play with the tech side of things, see what the app is like because there's no way that I'm seeing right now to do any control with this thing or do any kind of manual dosing even without an app. I'll find out more about that next week in the tech side of this thing. First impressions though, it's got some pluses, it's got some minuses. I gotta dig into the tech before I can give you a full opinion.